Morning Christians, welcome to our daily devotion. I'm Brother Goblin and I serve as a district leader in the Grace Group. And the application question for us this morning for Judges 11 is, are your growing up experiences defining you? Judges' illegal birth and expulsion by his stepbrothers after they grew up set the context of the chapter. However, Jephthah went on to become a great leader of rebels. And when Israel was faced by the Ammonites, they wanted Jephthah to lead them. And therefore, the key verses that I've chosen today are Judges chapter 11, verse 1 to 2, and verse 29. Will you join me now even as we read this verse? Judges chapter 11, verse 1. Now Jephthah of Gidonite was a great warrior. He was the son of Gidonite, but his mother was a prostitute. Gidonite's wife also had several sons. And when these half-brothers grew up, they chased the great Jephthah off the land. You will not get any of our father's inheritance, they said, for you are the son of a prostitute. Verse 29 reads, At that time, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Jephthah, and he went throughout the land of Gidonite and Manasseh, including Misphah in Gidonite. And from there, he led an army against the Ammonites. Even though Jephthah grew up as an outcast in his earthly family, God did not forsake him. Jephthah in fact went on to become a mighty leader and through the power of the Holy Spirit, he led Israel to defeat the Ammonites, fulfilling God's purposes for him. Who we are here is someone whose ability to achieve in life was not defined by his growing up experiences. So the question to ask ourselves is, have we allowed our growing up experiences to define or limit what we can do or we cannot do in our life. Perhaps you are thinking, I did not grow up in a well-loving or well-to-do family. I am not the smartest in my family. I am an outcast and so on. Do this not limit what you think about yourself and therefore limit what you can do for God? I am very much an average person in my growing up years. I was no achiever as compared to many of my cousins who did well in their studies and the startup of their careers. I was also not a natural leader of people. In fact, I was more a follower than a leader. So if I had allowed my growing up experiences to define who I can be in my life, then my life would be one of insignificance. Yet things change after I come to know God. I experienced the empowerment of the Holy Spirit who helped me achieve significant and purposeful endeavors. I'm amazed at how God has empowered me over the years to hold significant roles in the church, such as serving in the church executive board. In the marketplace, I rose to senior appointments and had led a few hundred of people. I'm not sharing all this to boast about myself or to define my worth with these achievements. However, what I want to highlight is the point that God has graciously empowered me an average person in my growing up years to achieve things for his kingdom and his glory. And ultimately, above all this, it is first and foremost our relationship with God that defines our worth and our destiny in life. Let us therefore not allow our growing up experiences define who we are and what we can do for God. Instead, let's trust God and his empowerment to fulfill the purpose of life that he has for us. Will you join me now even as we pray and commit this area of our life to God? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you do not define our world or see us based on our growing up years. Instead, Lord, you love us and you have great plans for us, plans to prosper us. So Lord, we just want to dedicate our lives to you and we know, Lord, we can achieve significant things in and through you, Lord. So Lord, we just commit our life to you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for taking time to join us for our daily devotion. We'd like to encourage you to download the application question to further reflect on this and do join us again for our next devotion. Thank you and have a blessed day. God bless.